The energy grid is the backbone of our lives, but it's built like a house of cards. We've just seen major power outages in Chile and the UK, and most recently a massive blackout across Portugal, Spain and France. All it takes is two large energy generators failing at the same time and the whole system goes down leaving millions of citizens without electricity. But luckily, we have a solution in place. When the power went out, there was nothing. Nothing, just silence. People were standing on the streets, disoriented, trying to get some signal on their phones. Traffic lights were not working. People were stuck inside the metro. It was... Chaos. So the blackout uh, in Iberia, it's not yet understood or known the exact reasons that caused, but there is an idea that, you know, the fact that big generations were disconnected or stopped the generating energy, it caused then the shutdown uh, of the grid. So we are talking about seconds, basically. Uh, we weren't prepared with enough tools, uh, mechanisms to support and react quickly. I don't think many people realize this, but the Iberian blackout led to eight deaths and an economic loss of two to four billion euros. That's too high of a price to pay for any nation and a very strong eye-opener. We have to improve the resilience of our energy system. And the most proper way to do this is by empowering our citizens directly. It's time to decentralize our local grids. I think we were very lucky that we stayed without power for only about 12 hours. But what will happen next time? We don't know. And we cannot be that vulnerable. We cannot be that exposed, you know, to that risk. The concept of decentralized energy networks is they basically allow us to connect locally different kind of energy assets and you are able to orchestrate these assets in a way to create a kind of a local self-balancing community. The ARS can create a virtual power plant, having of course typically a IoT software tool that is able to connect all of the assets. With Combinda, decentralized energy is no longer just a theory. By connecting electrical devices like AC units, washing machines, or even just a vacuum robot with a smart plug like this, we can secure energy supply at a hyper-local level. This empowers us to provide the flexibility our grid so urgently needs to balance major swings in supply and demand and help us to reward the end users for their highly valuable contributions. I think that this decentralized system is ideal because it gives us more power as consumers because we, we can actually, in practice, be able to adjust, to modulate, you know, and to be in control of the energy management. And for me, that's amazing. And it, in a way, it's going back to this sense of community that we have lost. The great thing about Combiner is that it doesn't replace the existing grid. It strengthens it. The pieces are already out there. We just have to connect them. This is critical for smart cities. Because our grid is too fragile for the scale of connected devices and energy flows that we expect in the next 10 years. What we are building together with Peak goes far beyond what exists. With Combiner, we are creating the People's Powered Energy Network as a layer in the broader machine economy that's emerging on Peak. Together, we are enabling your electrical devices to communicate, trade and pay each other directly. They can become an important part of the power grid in your neighborhood selling surplus energy while relieving pressure from the upper grid levels. As the global computer powering the machine economy, Peak is the perfect home for our vision. Every new device connected to Peak has the potential to also plug into Combiner and form a part of the energy internet.